Thank you. Thank you so much. To the class of 2014, I congratulate you on taking your place on the long gray line. But the world is changing with accelerating speed. This presents opportunity, but also new dangers. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that uh, was uh, last year. West Point, President Obama, this smattering of applause, which is so uncommon for a, a sitting commander in chief at a military academy. Uh, but I think it speaks to what we're seeing uh, and uh, what's going on. Joining us now is Michael Berry, senior counsel at the Liberty Institute, director of military affairs at the, the Liberty Institute. And uh, Michael, welcome. You know, we, we, we got this uh, news uh, out of the Army uh, that the morale is, is just uh, dragging along at, at, at all time lows. Um, and I, I think if they did the same poll for any branch, uh, they would find the same thing. And I think a lot of it has to do, as you're well aware, um, with the fact that uh, the military is uh, becoming more and more hostile to Christians under Barack Obama. That's exactly right. And, and as you pointed out, uh, it's not limited to the Army. In fact, the Navy released uh, a study about maybe two years ago now saying very similar things, and they were finding, uh, much to their surprise, but not to uh, those of us who've been following this, uh, that a lot of it has to do with the perceived environment of political correctness that has run amok in our military and within our federal government as a whole. And many of the, the young people in this country who desire to serve uh, in the military, to serve this nation in the armed forces, they do so out of a love of nation, out of, out of patriotism, but also out of a sense of duty and out of a sense, uh, really, that, that it is part of uh, what has made this country great, is this, this tradition of selfless service and sacrifice. And it, it's not always the case, but more often than not, it comes out of somebody's faith. Uh, we, we continue to see all data supports the conclusion that people of faith still comprise the majority of service members in our armed forces. And when we have this environment of political correctness, and specifically when there is now what, what is many perceive as a hostile work environment to people of faith, uh, they're going to start looking elsewhere for, for places to serve. And that does them a disservice, and it does our nation a disservice, and it places us in greater risk when these future great leaders, great officers, great uh, enlisted men and women of our armed forces are now deciding to turn away from the military. That puts us in danger. Absolutely. Give us some examples, Michael, of some of the pastors who have met with this kind of uh, discrimination. Well, uh, two very recent examples are, are two chaplains from different branches of the military. One is Chaplain Joe Lawhorn, an Army chaplain, former Army Ranger, uh, who during a suicide prevention training, you know, you want to talk about a hot button issue in the military. The military is currently experiencing between 22 and 23 suicides per day across the, the entire DOD. And, and people will tell you even one suicide is one too many. And we're having 22 to 23 a day. And Chaplain Lawhorn was simply trying to offer some life-saving messages of hope. He offered secular resources, you know, counseling services, psychologists, etc. And then he also offered some resources from his own faith tradition and said, look, uh, as a former Army Ranger, he experienced some, some depression and some negative thoughts. And some of the things that helped him were to meditate on scripture, to really rely on his faith to get him through those dark times. And he wanted people to have an alternative. He wanted people to have options. And somebody in the audience who was an atheist complained. They complained to the media. And as a result, instead of the commanding officer saying, look, uh, let, let's, let's allow there to be a diversity of ideas. Let's tolerate different ideas. Instead, he came down against Chaplain Lawhorn and threatened to punish him and end his career as a result of it. Not to be outdone by the Army, we have a Navy chaplain, Chaplain Wes Motter, who has been in the Navy for 15 years. Prior to that, he was in the Marine Corps for four years. He has done uh, some of the most uh, incredible assignments you can imagine as a Navy chaplain. He's served with Naval Special Warfare Command. He's deployed overseas in support of our Navy SEALs. And his service record is nothing but ex exemplary. And in fact, his current commanding officer, who's now trying to end his career, described Chaplain Motter as the best of the best and gave him the highest rating possible on his last evaluation. Nevertheless, Chaplain the Mater, uh, during private one-on-one -on -one counseling sessions, pastoral and spiritual counseling sessions with sailors, was asked questions about his faith, 
questions about what the Bible teaches on certain issues, per perhaps what many would consider to be controversial issues right. such as faith, family, marriage, human sexuality. And he answered honestly in accordance with the sincerely held faith because he had no reason to ever suspect that somebody would be upset uh, well, by so, a Christian chaplain being a Christian chaplain. Right, Michael. So uh, I, I appreciate you bringing all this to light. Uh, give us the website and people could uh, go to your, your organization and find out more and help you as well. LibertyInstitute.org has everything anybody could ever okay. want to know. Liberty, LibertyInstitute.org. Michael Berry, keep up the good work. Very important. Thank you. We're coming back with Roger Simon. Don't go.